Hey, what's going on guys? Andrew here. And today we have a huge opportunity that we have to talk about. Now, ARK Invest has over $870 million into the stock that I'm going to talk about today. And it's currently the second largest holding in their ARK G or genomic ETF. In this video, I'm going to show you why it's up over 35% this week and why I think it is going to be one of the top performers in the ARK G ETF for the upcoming years. Now, I'm also going to talk about this $5 billion opportunity that ARK Invest and Kathy Wood see with long read sequencing. And I'm going to go through a couple points that they made on their big ideas report about long read sequencing and just the genomic sector in general. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell because a lot of the videos that I make are time sensitive and you want to be able to see them as quickly as possible. We're on the road to 2000 subscribers and your support greatly helps out the channel. But other than that, let's get right into the video. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about ArcG because I already made a video about that a few weeks ago. But just a brief overview, it is their ETF on genomics. And if you don't know what genomics is, it's the structure, function, evolution, and mapping of genomes. So ARK Invest is extremely bullish on genomics, and this is what Kathy Wood had to say about what she thinks is going to perform best within the next few years in her ARK ETFs. Which of your current holdings, Kathy, do you think will supply the biggest lift in the next five years? Tesla is still in the running, but I would have to say the biggest upside surprises are going to come from the genomic space. Uh, and that's because the convergence of DNA sequencing, uh, artificial intelligence, and gene therapies, importantly, CRISPR gene editing, are going to uh, cure disease. So just to sum things up, Kathy and ARK Invest think that genomics, DNA sequencing, and gene editing are going to help cure diseases, and that is going to explode their value and, of course, explode the stock prices of those genomic stocks. If you want a more in-depth view, make sure you check out my video that I made about ARCG. But today's video, we're going to focus on long read sequencing and most importantly, Pacific Biosciences, which is ARC's second largest holding in the ARCG ETF. Pacific Biosciences is a biotech company that develops and manufactures systems for gene sequencing and some novel real-time biological observation. They focus on long read sequencing, which in contrast to short read sequencing, breaks the genome into larger pieces than a short read sequence and uses efficient computer algorithms to reassemble the genomes. Long read sequencing is seen as less accurate but more complete, and short read is seen as more accurate but less complete. If you think of it like a puzzle, short read sequencing would be a bunch of little puzzle pieces coming together to form a puzzle to where long read sequencing would be a bunch of larger pieces coming together to form a puzzle. ARK Invest and Kathy Wood believe that long read sequencing is superior due to its ability to provide the most in-depth variant detection. Now, if you haven't already, I do suggest that you check out the Big Ideas report that ARK published just a few weeks ago. It definitely has a lot of information talking about disruptive innovation, but today we're going to be looking at the part where they talk about long read sequencing. Now, ARK says that researchers historically have chosen long read sequencing over short read sequencing. Now, the reason that short read sequencing is used a lot more than long read sequencing is because of the price. Now, ARK believes that long read sequencing is going to decrease in price a lot and will reach cost parity with short read sequencing, which is basically just them being the same price by 2025. Now, this is due to something called Wright's Law, which states that every cumulative doubling in data produced will result in a cost decline of 28% per year. And if long read sequencing actually does catch up to the price of short read sequencing, then we might see companies transition over because it will be better quality. Now, if this is true, this is going to be huge for Pacific Biosciences because they are seen as the largest player on the market in terms of long read sequencing. ARK Invest also expects the long read sequencing market to grow at an annual rate of 82% through 2025, which would take it from about a $250 million market right now to over $5 billion. Now, this is a big goal and very optimistic, but ARK Invest is the last group that I would bet against. Now, Pacific Biosciences has been on an absolute moon mission this year with their stock price going from under $10 to over $50 as of this week. But if we do manage to see the growth with long read sequencing that ARK expects, I do expect the stock to absolutely skyrocket with it since it is one of the biggest players. Now, I know you guys see this huge gap right here, which happened this week after Pacific Biosciences jumped over 25% in a day. And I'm going to talk about why that happened. But first, let's get into their earnings report that just came out this week. 
Now, I want to be as transparent as possible with you guys because you guys deserve transparency, and I don't want you to just buy a stock without doing your own research. So PACB had very underwhelming earnings. The revenue fell 3% year over year to $27.1 million. They had $74.9 million in net income this year, and they also missed quarter four EPS with a 0.37 instead of a 0.43. Now, there is a bright side to this earnings. They actually ended up with a lot of cash, $318.8 million worth, which is about a 50% increase from quarter three of $208.6 million, and it is a large increase from just about $50 million that they had just a year ago. Now, most of this cash came from an offering in November, which netted them $93.6 million. Now, you have to keep in mind that the pandemic definitely affected Pacific Bio's year earnings because, of course, some of the companies that they work with had to temporarily shut down. Now, the CEO said that it did not have any impact on their quarter four earnings, though. Now, they also placed 35 SQL 2 systems in quarter four, which brings their total to 203. Now, the SQL 2 systems provide scientists with access to cost-effective and highly accurate long-read sequencing. Product revenue fell 4% year over year, but increased 50% from quarter three, showing the effects of the pandemic on sales and a rebound of the sales in quarter four. Now, the biggest news that I'm going to talk about and the reason why their stock price jumped over 25% a few days ago is because SoftBank Group actually decided that they were going to invest $900 million more million into Pacific Biosciences. Now to take that into context, that $900 billion investment is actually more than ARC has in their entire position, which is their number two holding. Now this is on top of the 6% stake that SoftBank already had, which was worth over $350 million, bringing their total to $1.25 billion worth of Pacific Bio. Now, this investment from SoftBank gives them endless amount of money to work with, and that gives them the ability to advance long-read sequencing technologies. Now, the CEO of Pacific Biosciences says that the investment will enable the company to lower the prices for its systems like the SQL 2. This puts PACB in a better financial position in order to excel in the long-read space over the next five years. Now, I just want to disclose that I don't have a position in Pacific Biosciences yet because I am waiting for the dust to settle after this absolutely humongous week that the stock price had surging about 20% by the end of the week and at this recording, which is on Friday. But I do have a position in ArcG and therefore I am exposed to a large percentage of Pacific Biosciences within the ETF. Now, I'm curious on what your guys' thoughts are about Pacific Biosciences. Do you think it's going to keep up and do you think this long read sequencing is going to excel in the next five years like ARK Invest and Kathy Wood thinks it will? Now, leave me a comment down below if you have any thoughts on the company itself or the stock price, where you think it's going to go in the next five years. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys have to say. But other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.